In today's video, I will be showing you guys some useful Garu techs that you can use to beat anyone in the strongest battleground. This includes one of the best or possibly the best Garu tech it has in its arsenal with a very low success rate of 3% chance of doing it perfectly. But I will show you guys at the end of the video and it literally almost takes down an opponent with full health. Alright, enough yapping and let's get straight into the video. So each tech that will be shown in the video has a difficulty rating. This determines how often the user is able to perform it without messing up, plus the difficulty of learning the technique. So the very first tech we are learning is the down slam plus grasp and finally the uppercut. This is possibly one of the easiest Garu techs to learn. If you're not able to do this one, then you will most likely not be able to do any of the techniques after this one. So essentially, you click three times, you jump, then you click to down slam, then you quickly grasp him, hold your click to actually be able to punch him, and then you click away if you want to down slam, uppercut, or even just kick him. Either way, he's going to end up at 62.7% health. For this next one, just click four times normally. As soon as you kick, you quickly dash. This may take some time to learn just because you have to be very precise. So this is just me like actually trying to do it continuously. And as you see, it's not that easy to keep on hitting it every single time. The amount of damage you're able to produce with this type of tech is roughly 20% health. This very next one is just an uppercut and you press 2 which is the lethal one. And that's pretty much it. It should do roughly 32 damage. This next one is similar to the one previously, which is uppercut, but instead of pressing two, you press one, which is flowing water. And you should do at least 38% health. We're barely just warming up. This next one is three M's. You jump and you uppercut, and you quickly press two, which is lethal. You can also press one if you want. It really doesn't matter. But just know that this one is kind of tricky and you will most likely get a lot of errors or mistakes and doing this tech correctly should result in a whopping 32 damage this tech essentially just adds an extra step you do the uppercut, you do the water and then you dash at the very end the amount of damage that you're gonna output is gonna be roughly a good 42% damage. The dash adds 4% more damage to the combo. This combo is basically the same thing as the other one, but instead of using water, you instead use lethal, which is number two. This one is way harder to do just because the dash is really hard to get it on point. This is a good example that even though this is a harder tech to do and learn, doesn't mean it's gonna do more damage. With roughly 37% damage compared to the other one which was 42. If you're able to do all the techniques before this one, then you're ready for the big boy moves. And this is the very first one I'm gonna be showing you. So first thing you do is try to down slam and then after that grasp instantly. Hold a click so you're able to continue the combo. Then try to uppercut and then you quickly press 2 which is lethal and lastly does down slam. It's not possible to hit the dummy like this, so I gotta move to him and just continue on. This whole combo should do an estimated 59 damage. I hope you have a good reaction time because for this next tech, you're gonna need it. It starts with a simple uppercut and it leads into a lethal, which is two. Then after that, you have to quickly press one, which is water, and then you dash and that's it. Just be very careful just because some people may have horrible connection and tend to fall down like a balloon. Just keep that in mind. 61% damage. For this next tech, punch him until you down slam. Then you grasp him, which is three. Hold that click to make sure the combo still continues. And then you uppercut. And then you hit it with the lethal, which is two. And you finish it with the dash punch.
59% damage. For this next tech, it's basically the same thing as the previous one, but except on using two after the uppercut, you use one, which is water. Sixty five per cent damage. Before I show you the best tech for Garu, I just wanted to talk about how I did not add any counter techs. Also, I wanted to mention the Kyoto. I don't know if it's just me, but I have not been able to pull off a Kyoto in a while, so this might be patched or not. I might just be rusty. This is the ultimate tech for Garu. So you start with the dash, you click until you do an uppercut. You hit it with the lethal, which is two. Then you hit it with the water mid-air, which is one. And then you down slam him to get the extra damage. You grasp him next. Hold that punch until you're able to kick him to finally dash punch him at the very end. From what it looks like, I did roughly 80% damage. For sure there's more combos out there and I did not list them in this video. Because I did miss out on wall combos and counters. But hey, you can fill that void in for me if you want to. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, Mama Grabble.